I'm going to share with you today a hook that's going to change the game of fishing, and that is the Hover Rig Hook by Core Tackle Company. I have had access to this hook since the mid-December period. I have tested it in many different water situations and baits, and today I'm going to share with you the baits that I like to use, the situations that I've caught fish in, and just to give my whole experience rating of this hook, guys. So hey, stay tuned. You're not going to want to miss this. That was so cool. The Hover Rig Hook is a product of Core Tackle Company. Behind Core Tackle is Matt Steffen and Johnny Schultz. Their idea for this hook is for the hover strolling technique. Originally, with the hover strolling technique, you would have your hook, you would have your nail weight, and you would put your nail weight in the front of the soft plastic that you choose. So instead of having two separate pieces, you now have one. You have your weight and your hook designed together to make it easier for you to go out and use the hover strolling technique. So guys, I'm gonna share with you five soft plastics that I've had success with and that I like using with this hover rig hook. Now I've used probably about 15 different soft plastics styles and, and, and I've even done the underwater pool test as well. So I'm just gonna share with you five right now for this video. And the first one is the bellows gill, okay? So now with this, this is the 2.8 size. Uh, and, and this hook is the 1 8 size hook. There's the 1 8 and 3 64 Now that bigger size, it, it kind of is more heavier and makes this lure go down, but this 2.8 is perfect, man. The gliding motion and the action it gives, man, it is something that them fish like said, have never seen before, I'm telling you. And as like I said, this dude here, I've caught a lot of fish with this. I've caught fish with this even at Lake Washita, uh up in rabbit guys in them trees. For them people that know Lake Washita, like I said, that's one of the, that's, I've caught some fish with it up there in them trees. And like I said, I've been in 40 foot of water and caught fish watching on the live scope up to 20. Now, I've also caught fish with this in shallower water. And guys, here at the end of the video, I will go through how to hook this up. That's one thing I know that will take a lot of practice. It took me a couple times to kind of figure it out, but rigging these up does take a little bit. So after the video, I'm going to share how to rig these guys up. So I've caught fish, as I mentioned, at a timber with this. Rock piles is something else too, and I'm going to share with you one of my lures I've caught some fish with with the rock piles. Now with this though, with, with the action, now when you're fishing that deep water, you do need to let it sink, but man, what I like to do is twitch my, you know, I like to twitch the pole just a little bit with a down or an upward motion with that upward motion it kind of goes up and then i'm gonna back up it goes up and then kind of glides back down so with this here man like i said this right here is my favorite lure with it i don't believe i, I kind of didn't want to share this one with y'all but gotta 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 let y'all know about it so the second one and i have it on right now is just the fluke style lure and that's one of the original uh the original you know hover strolling soft plastics that you hear about if you google ho hover strolling there's a video of mike iconelli talking about this years ago so uh this is just the big bite baits uh jerk bait this this is their fluke style bait uh like i said this is just their white color i've also uh used the green pumpkins as well on the watermelon reds and this one here has caught me probably uh, uh my most fish i've not caught any size with this yet but i know there's going to be a time in a place i fished this one here in shallower water i'm really ready this spring to throw this around cypress trees uh try to because i have some lakes here with cypress trees there's actually i'm here at one right now and um and so i'm really ready to try to catch some of them fish that kind of bed up on them trees and and throw this at them because i know they've not seen this before the next one i've caught my biggest fish with this one and with this guy is a flatter style uh, lure is better the flatter style makes it glide more and this one here is just the zoom uh, the zoom meat head it's a four inch worm okay and this one here was the first one I've e I actually ever I actually used with it now as you see right here how it looks I actually turned it this way to put it on there so it would be more flatter okay so like I said if you look at it this way that's probably the normal way to do it I turned it flatter so it would be like this. And actually, this is this this one caught my my first fish on the hover rig, which was uh, six six pounds and about it's like six two, I think six two four or whatever. But uh, that was my first fish on the hover rig. And it was one of those days in December where I think it was twenty seven degrees when we took off. Water temperature was was, four, was under fifty, and I caught this off rock pile right near uh, right near the ramp of where I was taking off at. And so that that kind of gave me a lot of confidence right away that this is the real deal. When you go ahead and let's just go ahead and put this one on here right now so with this okay with this you want to kind of put it right 
give yourself some room, okay? And then, hope I get all this here on camera. You're gonna kind of put it through so y'all are seeing this here. Okay, hope I don't mess this up because I'm trying to make sure I got it on camera and and you're gonna have to give yourself some room. I'm gonna go a little more, a little more. Okay, and hopefully we got it right as you see. Then I'm gonna put it on here. And that's one thing, like I said, this worm is pretty small, so you don't want it to break. I kind of kind of got it break. Okay, so now we're here, and this is the hard part, okay? You need to put it up a little more. Yep, put it up. Come on, I'm gonna kind of go there. And I know some of you are watching this and like, why are we doing this? for a hook and a, and a technique well guys you could put that nail weight in there and lose the nail weight instead here you go right here so there it is there like i said now like i said this is a smaller worm with this one eighth ounce size head you could probably go down to the 364 ounce but i was using the bigger head because i like to been i've been fishing this deeper uh than probably what it was intended to do except i know johnny's been starting to fish with it johnny will go out there and catch fish an 80 foot with it and just make me look like i don't know what i'm doing so anyway guys so like i said there's that like that flatter style you say, say that flatter right here kind of gives it that gliding motion guys next lure which is actually uh one that's kind of similar to that and 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 i know it's one that matt's uh advertised and i and like i said it's the flatworm the berkeley flatworm which i know about i've been also using the big bite bait uh smallly it's their it's their kind of version of the flatworm uh this is a smaller one now this works better on that 364 ounce size because this is a little little worm but you can still get it on this one eighth size hook, okay? So, but I would probably recommend doing this one on the 364 ounce size. And then the uh, last one, which I don't have it out, but it's just the Senko. So guys, uh, I've been just cutting the Senkos off. Like, you know, I've, I have a normal Senko, cut it off and put it on there. And man, I've caught a lot of fish with it. Uh, like I said, I've caught fish with it in 40 foot. I've caught, there's one day I caught a bunch of spotted bass at, uh, at one of my local lakes and I, before I did the underwater footage, like I said, I was kind of getting a fan of the Senko. And then when I did my underwater footage, I, uh, Matt uh, Stefan sent me some of the little generals, and they were the baby ones. And I didn't think about or getting me some smaller Senkos at the time, I'll tell you the truth. And that footage, what I watched with it was, man, which is maybe why the reason we caught fish, there were times where that thing would just go down vertical it would just go straight down and man that's just something you can't just like always get perfect so that's one thing i noticed with the underwater footage that made sense to me to why i liked the Cinco with it okay guys so here i am with the bellows gill right here and the hover rig this is the 1 8 ounce size hook like i said this 2.8 size fits uh it works really good with this 1 8 ounce size head okay like that bigger 3.8 or the bigger uh 3.8 i guess is the inch size it kind of doesn't give a good of a gliding motion as the 2.8 so now let's go ahead and put this dude in like i said one big key is is leaving you a little bit of a spot here okay so you can put this in now hopefully i don't, I don't mess this up with this camera right here make it a little harder for me Okay, so I'm gonna put this in there, and this one's been used before with the hover rig. So as you put it in, you're gonna kind of push that and kind of be gentle with it, okay? Kind of, there we go. I think you wanna make sure you have enough. If you don't get too much on there, then it won't give as much action. Hopefully I did enough there. Okay, so now here we are there, guys. Okay, now we just gotta get this over, and that's what I think some people think is the hardest part, okay? And at that time, it fit on there pretty good, which this one's been used before, and I knew I could use it again. There we go. Now it's money, okay? So there it is there, guys. Like I said, the flatter side does, flatter style lures do really, really good with this. Get that gliding motion. And like I said, so that's why this one here, the Bellows Gill, is my favorite lure to use with the hover rig. Hey, really quick, guys. I just want to say thank you for watching today's video on Bass Fishing Declassified. Also, if you are interested in growing more as an angler and you would like to help support the Bass Fishing Declassified uh, YouTube channel, hey, check out our membership option. I'm going to put the link down in the description below. But right now, what we're doing is offering one video a week of me breaking down a section of a lake, a 10-minute video of me going in depth of how I break that creek down or that area of the lake for this time of year. Hey, once again, thank you guys for watching. And Let's get back to the video. Okay, guys, so on my tackle, got the Denali Covert Light uh, 7.2 multi-purpose spinning rod, okay? 
probably, you know, anywhere from that 610 to 72 is going to work. Just said, whatever your preference is. Hey guys, so on my line, I'm using braid as my main line, and then I'm using fluorocarbon as a leader. Very, very long leader is the key, okay? On my leader, I'm using eight pound test. I believe Johnny, Matt's probably going to say do six pound test. I just had eight pounds. I went down and fished some, some, I went down to OHIV and I had just put a little bit heavier line on. I probably should have had a heavier line. So guys, what do you think about the hover rig? Have you ever used the hover strolling technique before to catch bass? If so, go give this hover rig a shot. And even if you have not, hey, this is a new way to go catch fish. And like I said, if there's something new them fish have not seen, man, you will go out there and get more bites, catch some more fish before other anglers get on this technique, get onto this hook. I know some of our subscribers have already gotten the hook because they, you know, you guys watch Matt's channel, you watch Johnny's channel. I know one of our subscribers, Low Bro Fishing, I believe he said the other day he caught his biggest bass with it which was a seven pound bass and guys that's the biggest i've heard caught on the hover rig yet bigger than mine i knew mine was the biggest but now uh, i gotta go out there and catch one bigger than seven anyway guys thank you for watching please hit the like button for us, subscribe to the channel share the video let me know what you think and hey i appreciate it don't miss the next video